Good morning guys, Fred here with Down Dirty Outdoors. Uh, yesterday we posted a video of uh, my trap line, a quick video anyway. Got a possum catching a bucket set. Um, had a couple questions about the bucket set. So while I'm out here checking my line uh, for the fisher traps we set yesterday, I'm just gonna real quick uh, talk about this bucket set. Um, obviously behind me I have a wetland. That's where we set our fisher sets up here. That's kind of where a good spot is on a ridge. That's what we did with our first set. Um, so real quick, I want to touch on this bucket set, how I set it up, why I picked where I picked, and uh, we're going to move on and set four of them. So let's uh, just turn this around here. All right, so here's my bucket, simple square bucket. I picked that because the conibear bear fits in it best. Um, I picked this area because I have a couple trees here I can tie off to. Um, again, I'm right off the water. That's where these coons, that's what this is designed to catch is raccoon. Um, obviously, we got possum, and it's, you know, like I said yesterday, it's been my experience. Most of the time, you're going to catch possum. That's okay. We'll take them. Um, I'm going to use my 160. Uh, for some of you guys that see here, I got a, a Connie safety grip. So, not only do you have your safeties here, it's a good idea to use this safety grip too. It works up to 330s. It's a little cumbersome on the 330s, especially if you're trapping for beaver, but not a bad idea. And if you've ever been bit by one of these Connie bears and then, uh, you know, got all your digits back and didn't break a bone, you know how bad that hurts. So, Good idea to use one of these. In the back, you see I got hung uh, a can of sardines and some uh, some dog dry food mixed with some some wet food. Um, I'm getting sent out there. The reason I have it hung is when I first started running these traps, uh, I was putting a a fish paste mix, if you will, um, giving a few different scents, and I'm trying to attract water critters, mink, raccoon, things like that. Um, mice were getting in there and cleaning me out, so. Another trapper showed me this idea. I just drilled a hole in the back end of the trap here. You can see, just used my trapping wire and just hung it. And that's it. Um, the mice are going to get in there and they're going to try to drink that up. Uh, we'll see what happens with this dog food mixture. If they can actually reach up there, cut a hole, they probably will. Um, but hopefully, not enough that all the bait's gone and um, you know it doesn't take away from my intended target catch. So I'm going to get this set up, we'll come back and I'll show you the finished deal. We're going to gang set these, raccoons typically run in twos, threes and fours. So I'd like to take opportunity of that, so if there are a, a couple or a few running around, I'm going to put one here, I'll probably uh, go ahead and, and put one over there as well because I can still have tie offs over there and we'll see if we can get double sets here. Stay All tuned. right, so here's the finished product. So we have our 160 which is perfectly fine for killing coons, don't let anyone tell you it doesn't, I've done it. Um, and the, the trappers I've learned these techniques from, Dave Canterbury, Jerry Ward. Um, Dave Canterbury of Pathfinder School, Jerry Ward of Ozark Mountain Preparedness. Uh, these skills and techniques I've learned from them, they absolutely work. Their skills are transferable from Arkansas to Ohio to New Hampshire and parts in between. So don't be afraid to use them. All I've done here is on left and right, I've just run a couple sticks in. That's just to hold my trap in place. I've had critters come in. Um, especially the mice if they can pull that bait down they'll try to back that out and they end up springing the trap the trap goes off to the side and anyway this is just a, a placeholder um, and I'm tying my my trap off um, not so much that I'm afraid the animal's gonna take it and go these are killing traps the you know this, this is a one-shot deal critter goes in it's a it's a big rat trap for all intents and purposes the animals intended to, to die a, a very fast death right here on the spot that's just preventing any other predators from coming by and taking advantage of a free meal and dragging the your catch and your trap off into the woods so the bucket set with a 160 60 connie um like i said i'm going to gang set this we're going to do one more over here and then we're going to move on down the line all right guys so here we go we got a double set bucket set right here by the wetland we're right off the water as you can see uh, we got both these buckets secured tied off now the one thing i didn't go over the the last time it was uh, just putting some kind of call lure out, some call scent. What I've got here is this nasty fish. I don't know what it is. It stinks, but it's effective. So I just sprinkle a little bit, you know, just enough. Get some scent out, have them trail right to it. I'm not trying to give them a free meal. I don't want to feed them before they get to the bait. I just want to call their attention to it. Um, plenty of there's a lot of glycol in this um, if you don't know it's a good 
good thing to mix in with your baits and, and, and lures like this so that your stuff doesn't freeze, especially uh, like we're experiencing freezing nights every night. Uh, we got a little warm-up coming here in the next week, but it's going to get pretty cold. So, at any rate, that's it. Bucket set. We're going to go down the line, check some other traps, put two more of these out, and move back up to the big bait pile and reset some footholds.